now we're going to see other medications for Parkinson's disease. We will include the combination of levodopa, carbidopa. So we we are going to give the patient levodopa. This is dopa. It is not dopamine. This is dopa. Um, the reason why we shouldn't give dopamine is because dopamine cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. So it would be useless to give dopamine. So we will give dopa that can cause the blood-brain barrier and after crossing it, it will be converted on the central nervous system into dopamine by the dopa descarboxylase enzyme. But also levodopa can be taken by the peripheral um, tissue and be converted also into dopamine, but on the peripheral tissue. So, carbidopa blocks the peripheral conversion of levodopa to dopamine. And so this remains uh, only with the conversion of levodopa to dopamine after levodopa uh, cross the blood-brain barrier. So this is occurring on the central nervous system. Now the, the adverse effect, we have, let's say, early adverse effect and late adverse effect. The early adverse effect includes hallucinations, um, nausea and vomiting. This is usually by the conversion of, of levodopa to dopamine on the peripheral nervous system. Uh, remember that the areopostrema, the vomiting uh, center on the pedula, has uh, no blood-brain barrier. So the level of pack can uh, can be converted into dopamine, but this, if this occurs outside the brain stem, the um, the central nervous system, this will become a um, a peripheral block because we are blocking the peripheral conversion of levodopa to dopamine, and this is what we give to the patient. And one adverse effect very common is nausea and vomiting, but also dizziness and the hallucinations. Um, so uh, there is something called the on-off movement. On-off. These are brief, uh, certain periods of time in which the patient is moving slowly or or quickly or something like that, depending on which part of this phenomenon is, for example, if uh, if you're doing a lot of um, uh, contractions, this is because the patient has the on part within his dopamine. If the patient goes rigid and without moving, then the patient has the um, um, the uh, could be the excess effect of this medication. So for that, the patient would be apparently not moving.